Hello everyone, welcome to the packet tracer activity 20.2.1 from CCMP and core course from Cisco. This activity is about configuring a basic wireless uh, LAN. So as we can see here, we have the um, address table or addressing table. We have here also the network or the topology. And here, let's jump forward and read the objectives. Here in this lab, you will configure some of the features of a wireless LAN controller. You will create a new wireless LAN on the controller and implement a security on the on that LAN. Then you will configure a wireless host to connect to the new wireless LAN through the access point that is under the controller of the wireless LAN control. Okay, so what we are going to do actually here we are we have a router and we are going to configure the wireless um, router here as you will see, and then we are going to connect to this wireless network through so as you can see now it's connected I'm resetting this activity now we are from the beginning here again so what we are going to do we are going to configure a router through a URL as you will see and then you, we are going to connect to this wireless router or wireless access point from this wireless host machine. You will see the connection, the connection here up right there. I just it was here before. I am resetting the activity. Okay, so let's get started. So before starting, let's see the scenario here. An organization is centralized control for the wireless LAN by replacing their standalone access point with lightweight access point. Okay, and wireless LAN controller as with WLC. You will be leading this project and you will or you want to become familiar with wireless LAN controller and any potential challenges that may occur during the uh, project. You will configure the wireless LAN controller by adding a new wireless network to, uh, and secure it, securing it with this security type. To test the configuration, you will connect the laptop to the LAN and ping devices on the network. Okay. As a, again, as a scenario here, you will configure a new wireless LAN and then you will connect one of the PCs, which is this one, to the network and then you start to ping the devices to check the connectivity. Okay, so first start, we need to access the router. As you know, as it's in your home, there is a router and you can access it. How you can access it using a controller or the PC and then SIGTOB and then open the URL and then uh, the web browser and then you enter the, um, the name or the IP address of the router. Of course, here you need HTTPS. And then you put IP of the router, and then you will be promoted to enter the username of and password. Of course, here is given. So as you can see here, the username is uh, admin, and the password is Cisco123 with capital C. Okay, so admin, and here Cisco123, and that's it. Then log in, and here we have the GUI of the router. From here we are going to configure a new wireless LAN. Okay, so what is else here? Click login. Okay, scroll through the monitor, monitor summary screen. So here we are in summary and then we go to the monitor and scroll through there. As you can see, I'm just making bigger a little bit. Here you can see that many information about this uh, router so you can see control summary controller summary here is the IP address and here is software version and so on here we have um, uh, rogue summary here we have access point summary as you can see here we have one access point is already connected now and then let's see what we have to do more uh, click next to click detail next to the all IP all access point entry on the access point page and we will see here what we can here we have the name of the access point here we have the IP address and here we have more information about this okay 
Here now in part two, we are going to create a new wireless LAN. Okay, so to do this, we can go here, as you can see, and here click add a new, okay, and then we have to add here, create a new, and then click go. Here you need the type, this is wireless LAN, and here we need profile name, we need SSID, and then we need an ID. So let's see the information, enter profile name of the new wireless LAN, the profile name should be floor to employees. Control C and Control V because copy paste doesn't work here. Assign an SSID to be this one. Again, Control C, Control V. Make sure there is no space at the end. And then host will be um, the host will need uh, to use. Of course, when we connect from the host, we will search for SSID five. I select the ID for the wireless LAN. This value is a label that we use to identify the wireless LAN is the, uh, under displays and select here 5 to keep it consistent with the VLAN number. So here we have 5, so here we are going to select 5. Okay, this is not required, but it's with understanding of the topology. So it's recommended since you have here SSID with 5, so you can put from ID 5. So this is like to keep that concept consistent. And then click apply so you can take the um, save the settings. Okay, so what we can see here uh, now that the wireless LAN has been created, you can configure few uh, features on the network. Click enable to make the wireless LAN functional. It's a common mistake when you accidentally skip this. Okay, we have to make it enable. Okay, and then we choose the wireless uh, VLAN interface that will be used for the wireless LAN. The wireless LAN controller will use this interface for user traffic on the network. This is drop down, select interface group, select wireless LAN 5. As you can see here, this is one here. We have to select this one. We already added and they click advance and then scroll down and then to the flex connect por uh, portion on the page click the enable flex connect and okay so let's do this here we have these two we need to collect them or to check them and then we have to click apply okay so this is about the wireless lan of course after creating the wireless lan we need to make it secure to make it secure now we are going to add the security. So this wireless LAN will initially use wireless LAN PA2 PSK security in another activity and then the next activity we are going to configure QPA2 enterprise much better solu solution for larger wireless networks. Okay so in the next activity we are going to use this one as a security but now we are going to configure this one here. Okay, so in the wireless LAN it is a screen for the here we have here we have to go to the security and in layer two we have to select this one from layer two security drop down this will relieve the WIP WPA parameters. Click the checkbox next to the um, WPA2 policy. And here we need to select PSK and here we need to add Cisco 123 as is given here. And then we are going to click apply. And then click OK. Right. So we have done with this one. This Go forward to step three with now after applying the configuration click back this will take you back to the wireless LAN screen here is also there is a question here what information about the wireless LAN you can see here we have this information we have the wireless LAN ID the type and profile name SSID and so on okay so what do we need else 
let's minimize this now we are going to connect to this wireless LAN we have just created so to connect to this let's go here to the desktop as you can see there is no connection now and then let's go here and then let's click connect and you can see here it's here this is the signal and then click connect here we need to enter the password which is Cisco 123 Then click connect and you can see, see here the connectivity. Let's see link information. You are successfully connected to the access point. You can see my completion is 100 here. We can click more information. We can see here more information about this. Okay, so let's see now if we are there. Here we also can check that this is a wireless interface and here is DHCP, the IP address. And now let's click the IP or to bring this network here and taking the IP from here. And then let's go here and then type ping. Okay, so you can see now we are successfully managed to ping and it's already connected. So that's all for this activity. Don't forget you will find the materials of this activity in the description box under the video. Thank you and see you next video.